Hi everybody, welcome back to the Desmo Works channel and today is the first of three videos on the subject of Ducati two valve heads. So at the moment I'm lucky enough to have two different types of two valve head in for projects. So I've got a 750 Supersport IE engine and heads and then I've also got a Hypermotard 1100 S in again for work, so including the heads. What I'm going to do over these next three videos is strip down the heads in each of their respective videos and then in the third video I'm just going to talk through the differences. So it's a smary, it's a very small picture of the time frame of the two valve development by Ducati but I'm going to show you the differences between a head that was pretty much at the end of its run I believe roughly around 2003 in the 750 SSIE and then I'm going to talk the, about the later head that was used in the Hyper Motards, uh, Multistradas and Monsters in the form of the 1100 engine. So, hope you enjoy these videos. By the way, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell because there's more content coming as we plough through these projects. But let's get into this first set of heads and see what we need to do to strip down the 750 SSIE heads. So this is off the 750 Super Sport IE project that we've got going on. What I'm going to do first, just buzz all the cover bolts off. Oh gasket away. Okay, now we need to be able to slide the camshaft out, so we need to push that that way. So what I need to do is release these clips, which are holding the rocker arms in place, so I can then shift the arms over and manipulate their position so that I can push the camshaft out. I'm just going to have to get the key out, which is looks like it's a little bit rusted in at the moment. I just need to tap that out so I can push it through as well. Let me just grab a screwdriver. Almost. There we go. It's out. It's just a little bit rusty or dirty or well, one or the other. Uh, So, little tang, all you do is put the, for that, just put the screwdriver in like that and just lever it off. One on each side. Need this still just to one. There we go. They're both out the way. Mm. 
bit messy. Uh, it's not. Might have been a little bit of a mix of corrosion and certain oil varnish. Just put those in there. Just having a look at the closing our faces, make sure they're okay. I also need to get out, there's a shim in here. There, see that? Need that. That's there. Plus that little bearing carrier. I think it looks pretty good inside there. Let me just get the tool so I can pull the rocker arms out. Keep them as a match set and just make sure you've got the shims. Get the closing shims off because the valve sits so much higher up on a two stroke uh, two stroke two valve than a four valve just gonna pack it with something I'll just use the rag that means I push it down get the little clips out take the closing shim away and we are good Pop exhaust valve out, turn it around, same again. Didn't let valve. Those of you that have um not seen the two valve apart before. Quite significant difference in the sizes between inlet and exhaust. Inlet, exhaust. All you need to do now is get the closing rockers out. So we've removed the openers, need to get the closers out. Same again, just take out the two. Right, just need to get the right size spanner to take off the uh, inlet. There we go. That was on tight. That's why it's um, corroded on. Okay, that's the horizontal head fully stripped. Valve seats look like they could just do with lapping in. Got nice, nice faces, but not, there's a little bit of pitting, but nothing major. No play on the inlet valve. No play on the exhaust valve as well so the guides and the valves are good i will check the measurements on the valve stems for those that you're worried but it's, um if you sort of get play either axis that's a sign that you might have a worn guide and then i'd have to measure that as well but let me just tidy up the bench and then we'll get the vertical head on here for stripping okay on with the vertical head always look in nicer condition because they don't sit in the uh, weather and out in the open so same thing we'll start with the covers
bit sticky that one. Okay, get the clips out again. Like I say, just stick your screwdriver in there. Put something in front of it because they shoot out. This one's a lot easier to spin. Although it doesn't want to play golf. Let's get that. Um, yeah. There we go. Again, it's a bit of staining. Nothing major. Uh, need to get the shim. screwdriver Need to get this gasket off. I'll finish cleaning that up properly when I need to put it back together at the moment. I'm just trying to disassemble the engine. So same as last time. Get the shims out again so we're just going to stuff that under there opening shims are pretty straightforward again no play in the inlet valve which is nice it reflects the mileage of the engine Very, very small amount of play in that one, but nothing excessive again. Right, last bit is to get the closing arms out. Again, the valve seat's looking really nice. A little bit of pitting, but nothing too excessive. Just more carbon pitting than anything else. So they should clean up pretty nice. Let's just get the uh, intake manifold off. And then we're done on that. Okay, that's the um, vertical head all stripped down. And looks okay, looks like it's been well looked after. The oil's relatively clean inside. Uh, been sat for a while in there as we saw on the camshaft with the dirt that comes off there, but all good. That is the 750 Super Sport IE engine fully stripped down. Not much work needed on the heads. I will have a good look at these bearings and make sure I don't need to replace them. They feel okay. 
um, we'll replace the seal because obviously with the cam having come out you want to take the opportunity to put a new seal in but I think other than that it's going to be a lap of the valves rebuild it and then set of valve clearances and the heads will be good to go cool right we'll wrap this up there okay so that's the super sport 750 ie heads stripped down if you've got any questions or comments about the video please leave them down below and i'll try and get back with an answer as soon as possible um, if you're not a subscriber hit that subscriber button and notification bell because there's more content coming out specifically on this little series of the heads and i hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one cheers then bye